Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here out in the field in Richmond, Yorkshire, United Kingdom, the Argent Pilot Developer Conference 2025. We've got two planes here and a crew. And today we've got a plane follow demonstration. So we just fired a second plane up into the air. If you saw the first plane is up just flying a, 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 an auto mission in a little figure eight formation. The second plane is now going to start following the first plane around the sky. So what we've got, Matt is going to get a little close and then let's flip the switch, Matt. Let's do it. Done. Okay. We got guided. We have guided. So what we should see now is that second plane is completely autonomously using Ardu Pilot magic, uh, following the first plane around the sky. Um, the, a lot of the Ardu Pilot magic, apart from the, uh, the very cool stuff in Ardu Plane and the text controllers that fly the plane, is also uh, Leonard Hall's amazing uh, follow library and the massive changes that he's made to the follow code over the last year since I did my talk at the conference in Carga. So I have Lua Script running on the black plane, which is the T2 Cruiser, but it's basically getting telemetry from the first plane, running through the follow library, and then spitting out where I need to fly. And then my Lua code doesn't really have to do a lot of work because of all the stuff that Leonard's done to calculate what it needs to do to fly that second plane. And as it turns, that's the biggest challenge actually, is getting the turns right. It again is, it looks like it's just flying, right? But it's actually hand, completely hands off. Matt, who is flying plane number two, is not doing anything. Plane number two is just tracking through telemetry radio on the first plane uh, that is getting the Mavlink feed and then through the follow library doing the calculations to chase that other plane around the sky. Now, hopefully, it's interesting the altitude because supposedly the altitude is set a 10 meter offset. The first plane should be 10 meters below the second plane. I noticed it dipped way below then and it'll be interesting to see why that happened. But um, it's, uh, it's actually doing quite well considering, and I want to do want to emphasize this, that you know up in the air the wind is a little stronger even than what we've got down here. So, as you can see, the first plane's buffered it around a little bit. The f second plane is literally following not the path, not the auto mission that the first plane is flying, but the real true location of the, the lead vehicle as it flies around and gets buffeted around in the wind. And honestly, really doing a, a quite a good job of uh, keeping up. It does lose it a little on the, on the, on the turns. Um, I do do some... Um, calculations from the attitude of the lead vehicle to try and have the second vehicle predict when a turn is coming up and to try to turn in advance but it, it does lose it. The T2 Cruiser is quite a powerful little vehicle so it can catch up really quickly but uh, there you have it that's uh, that's plain follow the demo it uh, it really works. I've got uh, a PR that I've been trying for a year now to get into um, as a as a uh, Lua applet that I want to publish as part of the standard, obviously, you know, Ardu Pilot repo. Um, I think from chatting to Leonard on the bus this morning, I need to delete even more of my Lua code because there's stuff in the follow library that's even more impressive than I thought and um, there's more things that I can just get automatically from the, the C++ code. That's it. Plain follow. Thanks very much. Coming in for landing. That's practically a VTOL landing. Cheers, thank you. All right, thanks, that was perfect. Yeah. Really good.